everyone welcome back to my channel tech and art hope you guys doing good today i'm going to talk about how to recover a single table from your database backup so we'll create a scenario we'll see uh you know uh, how we can recover a single table from database backup okay so before starting the session i would request each and everyone who ever newly joined on my channel please like to subscribe and share with others also please visit the channel playlist sql server dba you will get more than 150 videos which can help you all the day-to-day -day activities okay and i have covered a couple of interview question sessions also so you can watch it if you are getting help please uh, share with others also and do subscribe you can join as a channel member by clicking the join button okay so let me talk about this current scenario so now we have a scenario we have a database size big actually and by mistakely if someone deleted one particular table so now you have option to recover that table you can go and restore a complete database with the healthy backups okay when i say the healthy backups so you need to recover till the point time uh, you need to do the pointing time recovery so basically you need to apply all the full backups along with the transaction log backups okay so now here the situation is you know you are not allowing that much time to keep database in a restoring mode okay for that particular sin single table so you need to find it alternative way how we can achieve that goal okay without disturbing our database how we can restore the particular table yes we can do a couple of alternate alternate ways there uh, you can uh, achieve that goal we can restore particular table from the database backups okay so how we can do that so let me create a scenario you can see the database tech 01 here let's assume a particular table let's say uh, db error log okay someone deleted okay so before deleting this table i am going to keep a uh, backup okay uh, so let me take a backup for this okay so we'll create we'll override this backup only so we'll take a backup first and then we'll delete it okay so we can see the live scenario you know how we can achieve that goal so now i'm going now i'm going to delete this error log table okay before deleting what we'll do okay let me delete this things uh, okay by clicking the okay the error log should be deleted you can give a refresh and then you can see the error log is deleted uh, particular table is deleted so till now is okay now what we are doing uh, either you can create a new database or if you have any existing test database you can restore that database with the help of those backups so i am going to use this demo db backup okay and i am going to restore okay i am going to restore or you can create a new db as well with the help of those backups which you have taken just now demo db okay i'm going to restore it okay if you come to file section okay uh, let me remove all those otherwise this will create a problem okay let me remove this directory i need just i just want to keep a simple okay so it's fine it will overwrite it hopefully it will overwrite it remove this tail log backup and just i think i think it should work it will overwrite up cup not starting okay either there are two options so you need to create a single separate database with the help of those backups and from there we can restore it the single table so okay so now you can see uh, here we have a table error log which we have deleted in a tech 01 so now we can restore this table okay inside the tech 01 how we can do that we have a select uh, star into command right uh, so through this command we can achieve that goal okay so now we have a database here so without disturbing this database we have recovered by clicking this command let me execute 
if you can see here hopefully inside the tech 01 now we have a error log table if you refresh it now you can see the table which we have deleted we are achieving without disturbing this database tech 01 so basically why we why it's required and why we cannot do with the help of backup so basically database size is too high and instead of restoring a complete database with the help of backups you can create a different uh, database with a different name with the help of same uh, database backup and from there you can you know select this table and insert it inside uh, inside this database and once the insertion done table is uh, you know uh, available in the particular database then you can simply go and delete that database because no need okay so simply go and delete that database so through this way you can achieve a single table you know uh, restoration from the database backup if backup size is huge so instead of restoring complete database you can achieve this goal so hope you like it hope you got my point we'll meet you soon till then bye bye thank you